Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. So after achieving my 190 kg squat, I was due for some easy day, an easy session. I really wish I could just go on lifting very heavy weights. And by that I mean more precisely, perhaps 90% uh, of my 1RM. But I don't do 1RM. I only do 5 reps, 4 or 3 or 2. So at this moment, um, 190 kg is my 2RM. And I would just love to stay at that number. 190, 180 kgs. Uh, in a way, I'm obsessed to just do heavy squats, but the coach, the trainer in me, and uh, a simple and astute programmer, programmer by, I don't mean computer programmer, a person who makes lifting programs, strength programs, is basically um, to do something hard and heavy and then take it easy and then do the same activity, but not so heavy. So there's a very famous, popular and, and uh, very, you know, time and again proven template called heavy light medium or uh, I think even um, I should say medium light heavy anyway basically in a cycle of a week or maybe a days you have three squat session one is light and you can do that for let's say maybe eight sets of five then a medium you know three sets of five and heavy, which should be, in my opinion, in my experience and my uh, my view, a set of five. But I'm not doing heavy sets of five. But I uh, chose, there is just no way I will go and do a session which is 120 kg, eight sets of five. There's just no point. I will only do it if I'm in extreme pain. Uh, I can't think of any other situation that I'll be doing such a lightweight. So... Uh, I have abandoned doing that from a long time and mediums are the day and this what you're watching right now guys is a medium day I think since the start of my road to 200 kg I only have been adding weight almost every session and uh, every session was a PR but as you know I have done 200 kg before a long time ago so not quite PR. That's why my jumps are big and I'm able to be get back to the road I was on. So I don't ever mind doing a medium session, which would be three sets of five, but I was even more lazy and I just did two sets of five, 160 and 150 kg. So there is a thing called deload or a low stress week. I try not to use those terms as much when I am talking about my own programming when I'm thinking about what I'm going to do I just know that I've done something heavy I'll take an easy day then I'll do some deadlift and bench press which are not very heavy which are also I don't record much <laughs> and then I'll proceed to go back to squats if I'm feeling good if I've slept well and I've not been a night owl as I can be I will proceed to go to the heavy weight again or add some weight. If I'm not filling up to it, then I will go minus 30, minus 40 kgs and do sets of five. And today that is this session. And uh, what has worked for me very well in 2021-22, something that has made me a little obsessive lifter kind of thing where I just want to lift heavy only. And what was that? That was something I coined and I called lift heavy, lift little, lift often. If I go back and look at, look at my training book, I would have lifted at an average frequency of six days a week. And almost every day, that's my, that's my wishful thinking, to just lift every day. And I would lift very close to my 1RM, let's say. Something that I don't know because I don't do 1RM. And I would do very small volume. So for example, I would do squats, three sets of three, but at 190 kg, 200 kg. I will do deadlifts, three sets of two, but 240 kgs, 250 kgs, and pack it in. 
and it is such an amazing feeling it has a kind of planning and a kind of um, far sighted sightedness to it i will say okay i've done heavy i'm going to pack it up because i am coming tomorrow to lift more heavy weights what you want to do is keep yourself hungry for tomorrow we all have done this go for hell for leather balls to wall type workout when we were younger and it works for a little while but in most cases we get tired and we get burnt out and we pack it up and we lose our motivation and we're done but as you grow old and mature and you realize your potential as well as your limitations and especially if you are doing i think this is 160 and especially if you're doing strength training where it means you're lifting heavy on regular basis to me that has been the best and most successful template lift heavy lift often which means higher frequency 6 to 7 days a week 7 days a week would be almost every day but lift little you're only doing very few sets the volume is really low the volume cannot be high because the principle and the tone of the workout to me is always set by intensity it's always set by how heavy if you want to say that i will run then you can say i will run very very fast if that is the tone if that is the core principle you want to follow then you will sprint and as you will sprint you won't be able to do go for a long distance because you can own when you go 100% effort you can't go for too long then you'll stop then you'll do that sprint maybe 5 6 7 8 10 times and you will not accumulate a lot of kilometers but tomorrow you can come back and add more look at me that's just a new me doing my squat dance feeling good i was pain free belt free and uh, that is also a result of when there is nobody in the gym but i reckon i will dance anyway it's my body telling me to dance i just dance i believe that body does not lie if your knee is hurting you can play any psychological game of mind over matter no it doesn't matter body will tell you what it is going through same goes with when you are happy same goes with things are working your body is feeling good you will just move your body language never lies and that was my body language dancing and i hope that this kind of energy is something that is infectious and infects you as well after you finish your squats your deadlifts or whatever else that you do you finish it and you just start dancing just start busting moves any moves does not matter whether you look good or somebody is watching just move and you will know the true value of what i said before body does not lie your mind can play many many tricks on you every day every hour you might think of doing a new diet you might think of improving your lifestyle you might even decide to learn a new language or speak to your girlfriend differently it's all mind games it lies to you body never does if you have been doing fitness or gym or lifting for a while you guys will understand what it is we have created this duality of body and mind and then body mind and spirit the truest the truest of that is the body the physical body that you have you move it you make it work and then it speaks back to you which is again through the body through the movement you are very joyful you are just ready to dance any time you're very much in the rhythm you're whistling you're singing it's an outcome of you using your body optimally doing some exercises or doing something hard stuff that appears to be hard like i am a set of 150 160 kg is not easy but when it's done the true language of the body expresses itself and no one can deny it it's it's happiness but that's just a very limited word to to explain what it is 
it's the truest expression of your body. When you win a race, maybe, when you just finish sparring, whatever it is, your body tells you. And it tells you through the medium of mind, your brain, your endorphins, yes. But it is all within the gambit of the body. Anyway, enough of all that talk. Uh, I think I packed up after this set, 160 kg, 150 kg. And uh, it was a good session. And I hope you enjoy the video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.